Hey everyone, welcome to Vet Visit. I'm Hansika Singh and I'm a veterinary student. In this video, we are going to discuss about preparation including books, online websites available, the admission procedure, eligibility criteria and other related topics for PG, ICAR entrance exam under animal sciences. So let's get started. So I have with me Dr. Hemalata ma'am. Ma'am was my super senior in college and ma'am is presently a PG scholar in extension education at IVRI, which is Indian Veterinary Research Institute. So first of all, ma'am, it's great to have you with us. And uh, how are you, ma'am? Yeah, I'm very good. Thank you. So uh, let's start with the questions, ma'am. My first question to you would be that what is the eligibility criteria and what is the admission procedure? Coming to the eligibility, one should be an Indian national and he must be in the final year of his BBSC and AH. For writing the examination, we can be pursuing our degree, but by the time we take the admission, we must be having our degree certificate with us, either PDC or the complete degree certificate. Even internship should be completed by the, ta by the time we take the admission. The examination is an online based. It is being conducted by the National Testing Agency for the past two years and it has shifted to the online mode and even the number of questions has been reduced this year that is it used to be 150 or 160 last year but now it has become 120 two hours time limit four marks for each correct answer and one mark directed for a negative answering and zero for non-attempting it is completely online based and even counseling procedure everything is online my next question to you would be ma'am that uh, how many seats are under animal sciences in IVRI and in India in total? Uh, the number of seats would be decided during the counselling procedure itself and it has been revised that for the past three years the number of students would decide the number of seats in every subject. They will take into consideration that how many number of students are taking the examination and taking the admission in a particular subject and that would decide the number of seats the year of examination. Can you please also tell us something about the scholarship ma'am? As of now there are three types of scholarships that is ICR PG scholarship which was known by the name JRF and national talent scholarship and the other is institutional scholarship. PG scholarship or JRF is given to those students who clear the examination with top ranks meritorious students and national talent scholarship is given to those students who take admission in other state universities other than their own where they have studied or completed their undergraduation and institutional scholarship is for those who take admission in IVRA or NDRA the deemed universities of ICAR the PG scholarship is of 12,640 rupees per month and the NTS scholarship is of 5,000 per month and the institutional scholarship is of 7,000 per month. Okay ma'am. And um, when should our preparation be started ma'am ideally? Should it be started from first or second year or can it be even started towards the end of third or fourth year? One should decide themselves when they should start the preparation. It is better to start when they have reached their final year or when they are in their internship or when they have a time period, a time gap between their internship and the actual examination schedule. So if they are slow learners like me, then they should start their preparation at least six months before the examination. And if they are a uh, quick learners or fast enough to grasp things, then they can maybe clear the examination within one month of time period. So should we purchase the books, the textbooks for all or some of the subjects or the class notes or the materials that we are provided with and the notes that we prepare taking from um, the textbooks or something like that, would that suffice? Uh, actually what happens is that the ICR uh, gives new standards like in case of nutrition or LPT, they revise the textbooks and standards in that. Even during my time, there were revised standards for nutritional requirements in poultry, cattle and many uh, duck pigree. ICR has given new standards. So whatever textbooks we read in our first year may not carry the same content while we reach the final year and ready to give our exam. 
so it is better to write have our own notes and keep it updated while we are preparing and check whether any new revised editions has come into market or any revised new textbooks has come any new standards were uh, provided by icr or any other uh, international standards were revised so after the completion of degree itself if we have our own new revised textbooks it is maybe in my opinion it might help a lot because my senior has come in uh, he faced a problem with that he didn't know that textbooks were revised and he got into exam and all those questions which were marked wrong by him were actually correct with the according to the revised standards my next question is ma'am regarding practicing the previous year question papers which books would you recommend practicing questions is very much important because we read 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 and go on reading but we don't know how a question will be framed it is known only when we practice different materials that are available like uh, one such important material is animal science refresher that covers all the previous years questions and also gives a synopsis and important questions also and another such important material is wet rapidics and different other materials by provided by other universities like kerala university material dhruvan desai and tamil nadu university material and uh, anis can these are all the materials that are available and important for us to practice and know how a question will be framed or asked in examination and suppose if one plans to give online mock test because everything is becoming digitalized and if somebody is searching for some online material then please brief us about the uh, website that you and your team has uh, created ma'am wet amit so please uh, tell us about that ma'am yeah actually when we prepared or when our seniors prepared we don't have any access to this type of mock tests but because of this lockdown or because of this pandemic situation there has come many sites that prepare this type of uh, what to say this type of mock tests and in such a way even we started something like that uh, it is veta myth and it provides mock tests on animal science subjects veterinary sciences biotechnology biochemistry and even fisheries and agriculture also and it is free all over india anyone can log into and have test even offline too and they are available all around the year all around the clock we uh, even uh, even we can bookmark our own page and see our, the mistakes we have committed also and there are some other sites too wetopedia wet extension impetus there are many sites not even uh, not that only our site is working on it there are many other sites who provide uh, free online mock tests okay that's a great great initiative ma'am so uh, please uh, tell us that about something about revision that when should a revision be ideally started how many months before the exam and how many times did you revise your syllabus before you gave your exam revision is definitely an important part of any preparation strategy for any national level examination and we should definitely plan accordingly how to revise subjects if once we feel that okay we have completed a part of preparation then we should plan the revision also in a scheduled manner we must make a schedule and revise things otherwise we will stuck up with only one subject and keep on studying the same subject without giving importance to other subjects and coming to my revision strategy me and my friend both of us prepared together for this examination and we both revised together and we both got admission into ivri her name is harshini she is my batchmate and friend from the same undergraduate college and we together revised all the standard textbooks and all our notes and all the materials which i have mentioned up to a level of maybe 5 to 6 times but we worked it out together like if i am weak in some point or some in some part she sh- she will explain to me and if i am sure of any particular subject i used to explain her it was a mutual thing we worked it together and we got admission together and ma'am while speaking of the difficulty level of the exam what can we ex- uh, how can we expect the exam uh, like 
is it on the difficult side moderate or easy side yeah it's not at all uh, different from what we have studied it's the same what we uh, have studied and what we will be attempting and uh, coming to the difficulty level what i have been uh, seeing with the students who appeared this year too i have talked with some of them even they are telling the difficulty level is being increased year by year it is moderate to say but because the number of questions has been reduced they are, it is going to be difficult in future also like everyone are becoming aware of this exam and everyone want to study in a national institute or other best institutes available all over india so with the increasing awareness among students definitely the competition is going to increase with that the difficulty level too at last ma'am please share some tips for the uh, aspirants and according to you what are the most important topics that students should cover when they preparing for animal science there are some uh, definitely some important topics that will never miss any examination every year some are coming to the nutrition minerals vitamins calcium percentages cdp dcp percentages and coming to the genetics uh, the newly registered breeds and their home tracks breeds and their characteristics icr institutions and their locations full form of the national institutes like man age nianp and their locations and coming to the lpm the a uh, flow space requirements of different species of animals and there are some lpt or in lpt2 the pasteurization temperatures and even the egg and its nutritional requirement even extension the rural development programs and their years uh, these are all very important they will never be a paper without any of these questions definitely one question from whatever i have told will definitely be in any year any exam <laughs> we shouldn't get wrong with what we have studied a uh, difficult question no one will be answering it but if we go wrong with the easy question that will be that will ruin our rank definitely because everyone will answer that easy question and if we go wrong with that easy one then we will feel a lot after the examination and coming to because it's a negative marking one should definitely know how many questions they should attempt how many they should leave how many they can take chance definitely one can one can try taking chance in examination means that should depend on the person like how much risk he can take while attempting he must calculate how many sure how many questions he is sure of correct and he should calculate the rest left and estimate the marks he will be getting and revise revise well okay. you should revise very well once we finish a textbook or so we should revise it one more time one more time <laughs> revision is very important right right ma'am so uh, now i think we'll take a few questions from the viewers so first of all that uh, what are the subjects which are included under animal science so i've already made a video on that the subjects which come under animal science and veterinary science i will link it somewhere here so the next question is that what is the advantage of clearing jrf along with aiea jrf clearance is not about uh, that difference between study or research we take it only improves our curriculum we take our cv like we are a meritorious student and we got icr pg scholarship uh, based on our merit so whenever we apply for a job or any other private company for a job or any agriculture research scientist post or assistant professor post it improves our cv like we are meritorious students and we have cleared a national level examination that's the only thing it shows our merit next question is that what is the study methodology for final year students anyone who can dedicate a time period of 4 to 5 hours daily for a consistent 2 to 3 months then they can definitely clear this examination with flying colors this dedicated time period is highly enough to get admission into national institutes like ivra and dra yeah. and uh, related to this we have almost 8 months for entrance how can we start systematically reading starting of any national level exam preparation will begin with knowing the subjects what would be there and what uh, what subjects are important uh, 
according to the examination point of view like coming to the animal sciences genetics nutrition and extension plays a very important role these three subjects are the main subjects that would cover most of the part and after that comes lpm lpt the later up the rest of the subjects so one should know this uh, this line of preparation like first they need to cover genetics then nutrition then extension so they should know the subjects first the portion that should that they should cover and with, with what subject they need to start the preparation and the last question is that what is the rank needed to get into iiri and if you could also mention about the previous year cutoffs coming to the rank <laughs> to say see i got a rank of all india 11 but my sub my subject of interest is something else but because uh what to say uh this reservation policy that would prevail and would be changing every year i couldn't get that subject and i landed a bit with another subject that is also of my own interest only so the rank would never decide which subject we are going to take it it is solely dependent on the number of seats available in that subject and even if we got first rank also we may not be sure that we will get the subject we needed <laughs> or we wish for because maybe that is in different category it is not available in our category so that all depends mm, so first focus on the exam clearing that then during the filling the options then you will be knowing what subject you need to take and cut off i am not sure about the cut off ranks because that is not available in any way it's two round counseling first round and second round uh upgrade upgradation will be provided with the first round counseling students they can take admission and apply for upgradation of their seat so if any vacant seat is available in their interest of subject they can slide over to the interested subject in the second counseling is interview also a part of the selection procedure no not at all it is solely based on this online examination and by the time we take admission we need to complete our internship also and have our provisional degree certificate or original certificate with us that's the only thing i think uh, by this we have come to the end of the video and also the questions uh, indeed your answers were very very helpful ma'am and they will be very informative for all the animal science aspirants so thank you so very much for your time ma'am uh, thank you so much for being with us and uh, being considerate to answer everyone's questions and i wish you all the very best ma'am for your uh, career in ivri and further in life also thank you thank you so much i am very happy to be with you so that's it for this video if you found it useful then please give it a thumbs up do share it with your friends and if you haven't subscribed to wait visit then yes please do While subscribing, do hit the bell icon so that you're always notified whenever a new video comes up. Do follow the Facebook and Instagram page of Vet Visit as well. I'll see you next time. Till then, take care of yourselves and keep loving animals like you always do.